Welcome to the Brand Doctor Podcast, strategies that help entrepreneurs build reputable and profitable brands. Here's your host, Henry Kaminsky, Jr. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Henry Kaminsky here from UniqueDesigns.net with another episode of the Brand Doctor Podcast. And today, we are going to be talking about how to repel the nickel and dimers away from your brand. Now, I hope all of you enjoyed a holiday weekend. Uh, it is Tuesday, so we've got a little bit of a short week here. So I'm going to give you a little extra value today. So before we jump into this, I got a couple questions for you. So let me ask you this. Are you proud of the work that you do? Are you proud of your brand? Do you believe it's top notch? Do you want other people to value your work as much as you do? I don't know about you, but I hate when people used to try to nickel and dime me for my services and try to chew me down on price. Nothing made me more aggravated because I knew I was worth every penny, yet these folks didn't see the value, hence why they kept trying to buy on price and get me to change my prices for them. So I will tell you this. Today's lesson is you are what you attract. And yesterday I was at a barbecue um, at my in-laws' house, and we met. I met a bunch of cool people, a lot of business owners, matter of fact, because uh, my my father-in-law is a business owner and entrepreneur himself, so he's got a lot of entrepreneur buddies. So one of our mutual friends is a painter, and I've hired this guy a couple of times on a couple of different occasions, uh, and the guy does amazing work. He does amazing work. He's worth every penny. He's got a great service. And uh, he's one of my Facebook friends, so he sees me on social media every day cranking out these daily gems, and he always hears me raving about the clients that I work with. And he asked me, he says, Henry, dude, I see you on social media every day raving about your clients. How did you start attracting the right people? And I said, it was actually easy, but it, it's not that hard. I kept it real. I tell it how it is. I demonstrate the value that I put out there and that I charge for. And I raised all my prices. And he says, wait, what? You raised all your prices? I said, yeah. I actually raised all my prices. Why? Because people that pay, pay attention. People that are willing to pay the higher fees, in my opinion, are the all-star players. Cheap attracts cheap like quality attracts quality. And I told you this before. I only want to work with players these days. And people... Shopping based on price aren't my customers. They just aren't. I don't want to work with those types of people. Okay? I want to work with the do what it takes, do it and get it done personality types. I don't let, me personally, I don't let price get in the way of the result that I want. So when I'm buying high ticket purchases, I want a few things. One, I want a specific result. Right? I want to be better off than I was prior to buying that product or service. And this is what I deliver to my clients over and over and over again. Because when I was raising my prices, I said, what would I want? What would I expect, right, if I'm going to shell out $10,000, $15,000, $25,000 for a product or service, right? And a lot of you guys know I love shoes. I'm a big shoe guy. Um, I, I probably have more shoes than my wife. I don't know if I want to brag about that, but so when I go into the Gucci store, I'm not going in picking out a pair of loafs and then going to the salesperson and trying to nickel and dime him on the sale. I go in, I pick out the shoe that I want, I get my size, I check out, I'm gone. Why? Because Gucci has presented itself in a way that showcases and demonstrates the quality that they offer. Right? I could easily get a loafer for a fraction of the cost. But why do I go to Gucci? Well, it does a few things for me. But the one thing that it does is it really showcases the value. It demonstrates the value over and over and over again. So it comes down to confidence, guys. 
I'm confident in my delivery. I'm confident in the service that I provide. I'm confident in my skill set. And what does that allow me to do? Raise my prices and attract a better quality client. So my question for you is, are you confident in your delivery? Are you confident in your service? Are you confident in your skill? Okay. So here's the prescription from the brand doctor today. Here's what I want you to do immediately. I want you to think back to the last high ticket purchase you made. Whether it be a car, computer, an outfit, whatever, right? And ask yourself why you bought it. And take notes. Open up your iPhone, go to the notes, and type in, why did I buy blank? And then underneath in bullets, write out why you bought it. And then ask yourself, am I delivering those bullet points in my services, in my marketing, in my branding? So you're probably asking, all right, so what kind of advice did I give my painter buddy? Well, I told him a couple of things. I opened up my phone, I went to his website, and I noticed that the website really wasn't uh, quite mobile responsive. And I said, dude, we're in 2017, why isn't your site mobile responsive? Oh, well, you know, we're in the process of updating that. Yeah, yeah. If I go to a site that looks half-assed, Right away, I'm going to question the value, and right away, I'm going to question the price, especially if it's a high-ticket purchase, right? So I said, you got to change your brand's positioning. you got to level up your marketing. you got to level up your branding assets. you got to start being intentional with your messaging. You have to know who you want to work with, and don't be afraid to say who you don't want to work with. And let that be known. And that will repel the nickel and dimers like raid to a roach. So he says to me, well, are you going to help me with all of this or what? And I started to laugh because I was thinking to myself, I'm at a barbecue. I'm not even thinking about selling today. I'm here to hang with my family and friends. And I said, absolutely. I gave him my phone. I showed him the branding on the man program. And I said, here's the level that I think you should sign up at based upon the work that we got to do, based on what I just saw here in the past 10 minutes, what I've heard in the past 10 minutes. Bam. He signs up for the ultimate influencer package, and our first strategy call is this afternoon. That's it. Not too bad for a profitable backyard barbecue. So if you're sick and tired of attracting the wrong clients and want to make selling easy, you need to get in front of the right people. I just onboarded a $13,000 brand accelerator client last week, and she's a celebrity in her industry. She's in the equestrian industry. Why? Because I delivered the confidence that she was looking for to get what she needed done when she needed it done. I was in front of the right person, delivering the right message, the right product, the right service. It was a 25-minute conversation. She said, let me talk to my partner. I'll be right back. She emailed me back, sent me the contract. Let's move. First strategy calls today. Selling to the wrong clients will leave you broke, frustrated, and miserable. Selling to the right clients is going to build a strong brand, build your confidence, and really make you that profitable brand that you want to be. So the choice is yours, guys. So there you have it. Another episode in the books. I ask for you to please share these podcast episodes if you find value in them to friends, family, colleagues, because I am dedicated and passionate about helping you take your brand to the next level. And I will do it 
any means necessary, whether it's podcasts, blog posts, Facebook lives, Instagram lives, I'm here to help you. So have an awesome day, guys, and I will check you on the next episode. You've been listening to the Brand Doctor Podcast with Henry Kaminsky, Jr. To get your appointment with the doctor, visit Brand Audit at www.uniquedesigns.net.